Good is a beast as a talent evaluator, and he's working on communication. I think he's a top three guy, and you don't get Alexander Savage, and I heard he pushed for Bakhtiari and a couple 13-3 and teams. That's the other thing. <laughs> Gutekunst does get credit for some of the guys that we got prior to Gutekunst. He was on our squad. He was one of the best talent evaluators we had. And by the way, thanks to Tom Grassi, by the way, who did all these things, the, the, the best thing Tom Grassi ever did, because I've used this nugget a thousand times, he explained he did a sit-down with Mark Murphy, and Mark Murphy explained why Brian Gutekunst got the job over everybody else. It was very simple. He prioritized talent evaluation, especially in the draft, because the Green Bay Packers, more than any other organization, realize that that is where it all begins. That's, that's everything, being able to evaluate talent and get the best guys in in the draft. That's the most important thing. So he did a very simple thing. He said, go get your notebooks. Go get all your notebooks that had all your notes about the prior draft classes and show me what you said about all these guys. And he said, he looked at Brian Gutekunst's notes, and it was just super clear. It was just, this is our guy. His ability to evaluate talent on, on presumably, and I don't know about Bakhtiari specifically, but it's not just, obviously, it has nothing to do with the guys that he got now. It's about the guys that we got prior to, meaning he looked at the notebook and he saw all these guys that they picked Maybe not all. I'm sure he had some misses, but a lot of these misses, Gudikins was the one guy saying, "I don't think we should do it." And on a lot of the hits, he was the one pushing. That's why he went with him over guys like Elliot Wolf and and whoever else was in line. He looked at his notes. He looked at what he had done, and he said, "You know, communication or not, what we care about, what we need to care about, is his ability to evaluate talent. That's his most important aspect." And again, he's proven to be good at that. So I don't understand. Why we can't get on board with this? We got one of the best talent evaluators as our GM, and he's proven, not just in the draft, but in pro personnel. Zadarius Smith, free agent. Nobody was talking about Zadarius, by the way. That's the other thing. We're just going to pretend like Zadarius was a known commodity. There were like five or six guys that everybody wanted at pass rusher ahead of Zadarius. The Packers went with Zadarius, and they paid him a ton of money, like $17 million a year, and everybody was like, you got to be out of your mind. That guy, who, he's, like, he's a rotational guy in Baltimore. He's not even doing anything. He comes here and he dominates. Not going to give him credit for that? Same thing with Adrian Amos. He was like fifth on the list. Nobody wanted him. That was one that I actually really wanted, by the way, but went out and got him. He's, he was the number one safety in football last year. Not going to give him any credit? You guys are, you guys are just... Again, you're, you're thinking with your emotions, and I don't know why your emotions are so weird and, and angry at stupid things, but you got to wake up, man. I think for most people, it's just a, a matter of way too high of expectations. Well, what about Jay Sternberger? What about Jay Sternberger? Well, it was a miss. So what? You think being a good GM means you make hits all the time? You think Bill Belichick hit on all his picks? He doesn't. He misses on more than he hits. It's just crazy stuff.